Let me just try, try as best I can the magnitude of these headlines. I spent an hour this morning reading this one article and following the links, wishing it wasn't true. This news is so incredible that there should be a anyone who loves their children. I've got to just give you the public service announcement. There needs to be, a, well, it's too late now, an evacuation from the West Coast. And it shows you how humans will just sit there and kill themselves to live. And I knew the numbers when I had top radiologists and nuclear experts on at the time. I knew the numbers a year and a half, two years ago. How long ago was Fukushima? And I knew that there would be quite a bit of radiation coming down over Texas, actually. But nothing compared to the West Coast. And, of course, it turned out that the federal government knew within three months, and it didn't come out for over a year, that all of the tuna coming from the Pacific, the blue fin, the yellow fin, that migrates back and forth between Japan and the West Coast of the United States, had off-the-charts levels of different radioactive isotopes in it, in some cases hundreds of times what they said was safe. So they just raised the level in fish for what they say is safe radiation-wise. And uh, there have been mass deaths all over Japan. Uh, it's come out even in their media, but they just keep it quiet. Uh, the butterflies are heavily mutated. Most of the fish are mutated now. The frogs are mutated all over the country of Japan. Conservatively, conservatively, the six reactors, five of them being heavily damaged, four of them completely melting down and exploding, in one case shooting fuel rods two miles, I went and looked up the Mach 3 reactor, looked up its diagrams, blew up the video, said within 12 hours of it happening. That is not just the containment rods stored on top, the spent fuel rods, uh, over 500,000 stored at the facility, 200,000 on top of the Mach 3. It was number three reactor, Mox reactor, plutonium, uranium reactor, as bad as it gets. It exploded in a mushroom cloud, and then they picked up the isotopes that meant that it had gone critical and actually had a uh, chain reaction. And I had top... European Union and British experts, like, let's get Dr. Busby back on about this immediately, by the way. And, I mean, they picked up the isotopes there. It was picked up in the radiology journals, uh, the journals of, you know, the break down the radiation, that, that they picked up that fission had happened, chain reaction had happened, and children all over the country are just dropping dead on the playground. Their teeth are falling out, uh, they're having bleeding out of their uh, intestines. All the signs, all the fast-growing cells are dying, and the children just have cardiac arrest and fall dead. And then they're just mopped up quietly, and the Japanese soldier through it. Well, here's the new report. Third of U.S. West Coast children hit with thyroid problems following Fukushima. And all I said was, please protect your thyroid, and I was called a conspiracy theorist. And now these children, many of them, will die. I will get back into this incredible report that, again, I spent an hour this morning pouring over fact-checking, and I already knew these numbers were coming out about six months ago in a preliminary uh, research. But again, the Fukushima reactor meltdown happened in 2011, uh, in March of 2011. Wow, hard to believe it's already been two years. And they uh, milk levels all over the country spiked, in some cases hundreds of times, uh, the safe radiation level in places like Connecticut. It all depends where the trade winds come back down in the lower atmosphere. Uh, but all universities all over California, from Berkeley uh, to San Jose College to the colleges up in uh, Alaska, uh, that's where the uh, within weeks the uh, currents from Japan, Japan's a lot closer to Alaska than it is to uh, the west coast of Canada and the west coast of the U.S., the seals dying, people's hair falling out, the air traffic controllers, uh, hair falling out, uh, the people that work on the aircraft, their hair falling out, uh, radiation poisoning. And so what did the Environmental Protection Agency do? And I'm going to do a report on this tonight showing all these documents. They're in there putting it together. I'm going to be on the nightly news as a guest tonight, breaking this down, 7 o'clock central, and then we'll cover it more tomorrow with Mike Adams when he sits in. It's just this is such a big deal. Report, third of U.S. West Coast children hit with thyroid problems following Fukushima. And that's in the Journal of Pediatrics, Radiation and Public Health Project. And uh, also information uh, out of uh, UC Berkeley. And it's got all the recordings uh, of what happened. 
and it is just absolutely uh, devastating. Again, with children, the thyroid uh, particularly uh, absorbs the radioactive isotopes, and they should have been saying everybody's got to go on TheraSafe. I know Homeland Security on the West Coast ordered it immediately and went on it. I mean, within days of Fukushima happening, Homeland Security ordered it and ordered its people on the West Coast to go on it. And that came out. But they weren't going to give you the memo. Just like when the dust is full of asbestos, concrete powder, pulverized glass, there's six, seven, eight, ten feet of it. Most of lower Manhattan had at least a foot of it. And you've got all the tsunami wreckage that took about a year to get across there. They didn't warn anybody. I mean, that had a lot of plutonium on it that takes billions of years to retrograde and to go into its half-life. And it all came right across the Pacific, the northern Pacific, right into the west coast. Some of it also hit northern Mexico, but not as much as, I mean, northern California up is just off the charts. People are delusional. They, they just think, oh, we can make an excuse for it. I mean, look at this. Still think that Fukushima nuclear meltdown of 2011 never affected the United States public? Young children born in the United States West Coast, this is uh, up on InfoWars.com, right in the line of fire for radioactive isotopes, have been found to be 28% more likely to develop congenital hyperthyroidism than infants born the years before the incident. And that's just one indicator, folks. Same thing. Now, again, I, I, I said... you. Earlier, I said, do you know how much worse Fukushima is than Chernobyl? And then I never gave the answer because I was scanning my brain for it and thinking of what Dr. Busby broke down and what the other nuclear private commissions broke down. Anywhere between seven and a hundred times, depending on how you break it down with computer models, because it's still belching the stuff out and there's more of it coming across the ocean and more of it, you know, the really heavy stuff that fell quicker onto all the rubble and onto all the garbage and onto all the tsunami wreckage that it just goes in a big circular vacuum cleaner around and 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 around the west coast of North America. <clears throat> I mean, it's horrible. And this is in the Journal of Pediatrics, Radiation and Public Health Project, UC Berkeley. I mean, I can just keep going over all this for you. And again, this comes out, it was first published in Natural Society. Report, third of U.S. West Coast children hit with thyroid problems following Fukushima. Now, here's the deal. 92%, in fact, show that to folks. There's 420-something operating reactors that are for energy. There's a couple hundred other smaller ones that we know of. Two of them are in Austin that nobody seems to know about. Oh, there's the uh, U.S. Uh, NRC the uh, Nuclear Regulatory Commission. Ann Coulter, you know, she says the Japanese ought to be thankful for the radiation over there because it's, quote, good for you. Yeah, I guess if they shoot targeted radiation, it's some cancer. It's been shown to slow it down. The problem is that all my family that's been cooked with the targeted radiation, it starts leaking so bad in their brain or in their pancreas that that kills them. Because, you, know, you, you know, you fry a bunch of meat in there and, and it starts leaking. Uh, report, third of West Coast children hit with thyroid problems following Fukushima. The study followed children born in California, Alaska, Washington, Hawaii, Oregon, between the first and 16 weeks after a horrific meltdown at Fukushima back in 2011. Published in the Open Journal of Pediatrics by researchers affiliated with the Radiation and Public Health Project, the information further lends credence to previous documentation regarding the way in which radioactive fallout ended up on U.S. soil. Well, yeah, We've got the Environmental Protection Agency raised radioactive isotopes between 25 and 2,500 times, depending on what isotope it was. Oh, you're worried about radiation that they're finding in the milk and the produce, all the stuff that hits the ground. Cows eat grass, it bioaccumulates in them, it's excreted in their mammary glands, their udders. I know that's a conspiracy theory, but that's where the milk comes from, is cows' udders. They eat grass, and then you drink that and it bioaccumulates. Same thing with cabbage, lettuce, root vegetables, you know, rutabagas, things like that, onions. Uh, so, you know, I mean, my wife was in Europe when Chernobyl happened. And for a year, she was in Italy then. Her, her dad was a diplomat with the agriculture department. 
they uh, they had only frozen vegetables flown in from the United States and other areas in Asia, and only powdered milk, which said it was the old girl school they went to at the time, and all over Europe, you the children did not drink milk, and. You know, the adults said, well, we don't care. It doesn't affect us. Our, our tissue isn't as fast-growing. See, fast-growing cells are really jacked by radiation. That's why when Japan got A-bombed, most adults didn't die from radiation poisoning. It was little kids. Because they got fast-growing cells, folks, and it fries fast-growing cells. And, uh, and, and so she told me about that. I went and looked it up, and sure enough, found TV shows from the time, you know, 60 Minutes and stuff reporting on Chernobyl a year later about Europeans have taken the precautions. And it showed the, the plume that went into northern Europe and southern Europe and western Europe and eastern Europe. And, you know, it showed it, you know, there in Ukraine. And it showed what it did. And they estimate a million people have died from complications. And, and they've got the Chernobyl necklace. And they've got hundreds of square miles around Chernobyl that nobody can even go into. And the plants all grow weird from it. And conservatively, the lowest estimates are that Fukushima was seven times Chernobyl. People are like, Alex, be a little, you know, what about the Rangers? What about, you know, how are the Rangers going to do this year? Okay, fine, the Rangers. You know, what about the NFL? I mean, what do you think is going to happen with the NFL draft? I mean, look, I could care less, ladies and gentlemen, and it's not because I don't like football. I get the fun of betting your buddies 20 bucks and sitting around drinking beer and, you know, eating fried chicken and watching a football game. I, I get it. I, I've done it. The point is there's radiation raining down on us. Japan has had, has having massive problems. And it's all just swept under the rug. And so is everything else. The tyranny, the drones, the oppression, the sodium fluoride in the water. All of this is just swept under the rug. And the establishment itself has become completely... Completely delusional. And the guys have pulled up some statistics here on peer-reviewed national organization of local, state, and federal employees has access to internal EPA emails. Claims that the new standards of results are nearly 1,000-fold increases for exposure amounts, 900 to 3,000 to 100,000-fold hike of exposure of iodine-131 and almost 25,000 rise for exposure of radioactive nickel-63 in drinking water. See, I love how... I love how everything becomes a rumor. I, I saw a Washington Blogs article the other day that had a link to a video, FEMA video, from my film Road to Tyranny that said it is claimed that FEMA teaches that the Founding Fathers were terrorists when it's real footage shot by a firefighter at a law enforcement event with FEMA demonizing it, and I show the training manuals, and it's on record, but it becomes a rumor. And then, see, I told the guys, I said, go find the, 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 uh, the, the Environmental Protection Agency and the Food and Drug Administration, they were involved. It's on their website. I know this is a year and a half old, but this is on, we wrote articles about it. Just type in Infowars.com after it. See, see, that's some site. And I told the guys, I find it, they're doing a great job, but they find something where someone says, internal emails, people claim, showed this. It's not a rumor. It's not a rumor the Gulf of Tonkin was staged. It was in the San Diego Herald Tribune six months after it happened when the commanding officers of the ships got off and said it was all a lie, we weren't attacked. But no one ever had the newspaper article, so it became a rumor until they declassified it in 2004 that it was all staged. So good job finding that, guys. But, but just, let me give you the exact headline. Hold on. Just add an Infowars.com behind it and click web because it'll be old. Type in government raises radiation, safe radiation levels after Fukushima. Infowars.com, and then it will go to our articles by Paul Watson, Kurt Nemo, and others, linking directly to the Environmental Protection Agency and the Food and Drug Administration. But, but the first one was the Environmental Protection Agency.